Good afternoon. Welcome to Open House 2021. Um, we are doing this virtual, so if you do have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email. Um, I know it's going to be a little bit different than our traditional open house where you get to walk your student's schedule and see the school as well as meet your teachers in person. So since you don't get to see me in person, here's a picture of me and my two dogs. Um, so this is my eighth year teaching here at Hilliard Bradley. And if you ever need to get a hold of me, some easy ways to do that is via email. The email address is right there, Colleen underscore Baker at hboe.org. You can always message me through the Remind app. If you download that, you'll get the notifications that your students will get every blue moon, like don't forget to study, don't forget to turn this in. Uh, so that's kind of those, those come across on your phone as a little text message. Uh, Canvas is always a great way to check and kind of communicate with me as well, or you can call too. So this year in physical science, your kids are going to be working with two main areas of science, chemistry and physics. And so in chemistry, they look at all the basics of basically a gen chem in college. So matter, periodic table, chemical reactions, nuclear chemistry, ionic and covalent bonding, and more. There is a lot in the first semester that we cover. Biggest thing with the first semester is it does build from each unit to unit, so it's really important that students stay on top of their work as the units are connected with each other. In the spring, though, we'll spend that half of the year working with physics, which is going to be looking at how large objects, and it's all pretty much mechanical for the most part, how objects roll how they have momentum, how they have energy, how they can exert a force on other objects. And then we do touch on a little bit of ENM, which we talk about electricity, we talk about some waves, um, and then that's pretty much about it before we head off for the summer. Um, so your kids are gonna be fairly busy. Typically that second half of the year is a little bit more challenging because we do have more intensive math associated with it. We have a lot more variables. We have a lot more calculations that are going to be going on. So I tend to see students struggle a little bit more in the spring rather than in the fall. If you're ever not sure where to look, definitely check out Canvas. So each week you are going to see a page that says start here and it'll have the dates. So under Thursday, you can see right over there, this was last Thursday. We had looked at lab safety, lab safety techniques, and then they created their own safety gone wrong kind of flip grid. So when you click on those hyperlinks, it'll take you to the actual assignment. And that's where the kids will have um, extra opportunities to submit it. They'll see some examples. They might see extra help videos, things like that. Um, and then I also add on there extra practice. So I'll put in there Quizlets or Kahoots, um, additional help videos. So in case if the kids are struggling, they do have extra resources on Canvas. Additionally, if a student is absent, I strongly suggest as much as they possibly can each day to look and see what we did. Most of the time I will post lecture videos so you can see the lecture that we had in class and then you can also see an absent version of any assignments. So if they miss a lab, I'll provide them with lab data so they can still do the activity at home. Or if they have a lab, I might give them a gizmo to do at home. So that's just another way that they can stay on top of their work and so when they come back, they're not as stressed um, or have as much anxiety about having missed so much content. Big question I often get is our grade breakdown. So for physical science, our class is a weighted class. So 80% of their final grade is gonna be on tests and quizzes, and 20% will be our smaller assignments. So practice, Canvas assignments, activities, labs, concept checks. Make sure though that you are checking on home access for your grade. Canvas will not have all the assignments that we do in class. And if we take a test that is on paper, that will most definitely not be in Canvas. So often that grade that you see in Canvas is skewed, so definitely check home access. And then if you notice that there is a blank space, that means they haven't turned it in or it hasn't been graded. So if you're like, hey, this is like a week old and it's still blank, they probably did not submit it. 
Um, students do have to submit all missing work by the actual quiz day or test day. Um, so usually after each unit, I will close it out just so that it's not overwhelming for the kids to look when they're on Canvas. So it's very structured. Um, I do also use the requirements, so they'll get little check marks as they go in each of the modules. And last but not least, just again, if you ever need anything, feel free to reach out to me. Um, you're never going to be bothering me, trust me. If you have a question, if you're not sure, if your kid's telling you that they did submit it, either they can show you the submission or you can always reach out to me and be like, hey, can you just double check this for me? Um, so please feel free to reach out to me. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Hope you guys have a good rest of your week.